Hey guys, it's me Shelly. Hope all is well. So in this video, I have four weeknight dinners for you. Very easy and delicious to put together. I used the ingredients that I had on hand, whether in my refrigerator or in my freezer, to quickly put these meals together and to satisfy the bellies of my kids. If that sounds good to you, then consider sticking around until the end. There's nothing too meticulous about these recipes, but should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section down below. I hope you like what you see, and thank you for watching. I'm using top sirloin steak in this recipe and I'm just trimming it to make sure there's no fat or gristle and I'm thinly slicing it so that it's quick cooking. For the chicken I am doing the same except for I am taking off the bone and the skin because we don't need it and then I'm going to butterfly it and thinly slice that as well. to cook, sear, or brown any of my meat in small batches. This just makes it easier for you so that the meat doesn't release too much water and it gets a good sear on the outside of the meat. Then I always do my meat first and then my veggies afterwards because I like my veggies to absorb the flavor from the meat.
I prefer fresh vegetables in my stir fries and fajitas, but in this case I used frozen peppers because that's what I had on hand. If you're going to use frozen, always cook your uh, fresh vegetables first and then add your frozen vegetables later because your frozen vegetables won't take as long to cook. Use your nose and your eyes to figure out when you think that these vegetables are ready. After everything is done cooking, I just put it all back in the pan and drizzle it with some lemon juice. My kids really don't care for chicken parmesan. I'm pretty much the only one in my family who really does like it. So when I do get a craving for it, I have to make it in a way where it doesn't really taste like it, but it has similarities to it. So this is why I'm calling it lazy chicken parmesan. And also it's good for weeknight dinners. So there's really not a whole lot of prep work to it and it doesn't take too much time or effort. Use whatever seasoning you like and what you have on hand, but in this recipe, I use seasoned salt, paprika, and lemon pepper to season my chicken. I would normally use spaghetti for a recipe like this, but I didn't have any, so I used linguine. And you know what's funny is that my son actually really loves spaghetti, it's one of his favorite dishes. And when I gave him linguine, he liked it just as much as spaghetti, even though it's a much fatter and whiter noodle.
There really is no rule about how much seasoning to use when you're making a rub or even in any of your dishes. Whenever I'm making a roast, I always make a rub in a bowl and I just put it in my palm and hope that it's enough. If it's not, I make more, but usually it's enough. One palm would probably be equivalent to about a tablespoon. Also note that you can cook this roast in a crock pot as well, but please don't skip this part. Don't skip browning the meat. Once the meat is browned on all sides, you want to take out all the fat because you don't want that. Then you add some water to the pan, a can of Dr. Pepper, and then put your roast back in with some salt and pepper and that's about it. You let it come to a boil and then you reduce the heat and you let it simmer for a good two to three hours or until the pork is tender and falling off the bone. This step is completely optional. I just did it because I wanted it to be a little bit more crispier, but a good tender uh, pork roast is good too. So I went ahead and took all the meat out and strained the broth and then I just fried it in a little bit of oil to crisp up the edges of the meat and make it more taco style. And it came out so good. My kids were in love. They love this kind of meat. So that's all that I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments down below. My favorite recipe by far is the carnitas, but my son would say that the fajitas was his favorite. But you can be the judge of that. And also, if you have any recipes that you want me to make, please let me know. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.